Other top story tonight, young people across Metro Detroit protesting the death of Patrick Leoya. Leoya was shot and killed by a Grand Rapids police officer during a scuffle after a traffic stop. It sparked weeks of protests in Grand Rapids, and today this Detroit group says it's standing in solidarity with that community. Victor Williams live downtown with their message tonight. Victor. Yes, Sandra and Pamela, these types of events have been going on all over the country, but today's protest right here in the city of Detroit came with a very powerful pause. Today we're standing in solidarity with the Grand Rapids community as well as Patrick Leo's family as we demand justice for Patrick. Dozens coming together downtown marching against what they call an injustice, the death of Patrick Leo. It's just important to me because if it was one of my people, I would want the same thing. Because of the protest, it seems like traffic has come to a standstill for miles as many of these demonstrators decide to make their points very clear right here in the middle of the intersection of Woodward and Adams. Their point is that Patrick Leoya's life mattered. You know, it might be an inconvenience for people, but we need justice, and we're not stopping until we get it. As they continue to ask for the name of the officer to be released, one thing is certain, they won't give up until he's held accountable. We want them to identify the officer, not only identify them, we want him to be fired as well as prosecuted. A familiar theme we've been seeing in these similar protests or demands to defund the police, this instance is no different. Police don't actually know how to respond to harm or to deal with conflict in a healthy way, that all they really know how to do is enact violence, and that as a community we instead need to create new systems of dealing with conflict, create new systems of relating to each other. And this more than likely will not be the final protest coming from groups of people all over until the investigation is complete. For now, we are reporting live downtown. Victor Williams, Local 4.